my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review VHS. Before I review VHS, my guest star, Kevin, from his See It in IMAX channel, is going to review it. So, See It in IMAX, aka Kevin, take it away, dude. So yeah, these are my VHS tapes. Got Stuart Little, Home Alone, and then Pippi Longstocking. Hard to believe I used to watch these. Before I get into my thoughts on VHS, I just wanted to thank 22 Tiger Dude for asking me to do this. It has never happened before, but it is a pleasure. So, VHS. It is a found footage horror film and one that I wanted to see when it came out, but weirdly enough, it never came to my theater. I have no idea why. But now, thanks to Netflix Instant, I have seen it in all its glory. And I liked it. It kept my attention for the full two hours. I couldn't believe it was freaking two hours, but it was two hours. But a lot of it, to me, was just really random and original. I thought that there should have been some connective tissue between each of the tapes. I'd say the first two tapes were the best ones. They really got to me. There was also one involving a guy and a girl who did nothing but video chatting. That was the entire video was just video chatting. And that was fine. The problem, a lot of times, was with the twist. These twists that came out of the blue at the end, and a lot of them just really didn't make sense. It seemed just kind of like on-the-spot decisions that they just weren't creative. See, there's a difference between a twist that you get in like Sixth Sense and then the twist that you get here. You got a legitimate oh my god moment versus just pure shock that isn't motivated by a story. I also got really annoyed by all those little glitches and jump cuts. I mean, yes, I know that VHS tapes don't offer the best possible quality, but it just, it happened in every video. It got tedious, like they were trying to hide low budget filmmaking. But, it did keep me interested, the cast did really well, I thought, and I don't regret watching it. But yes, it could have been a lot better. I think if you like horror, and especially the whole handheld, like, running gun type of shooting, then you should at least check this out once. But I know that some of you will hate this movie. Personally, I don't. I think it's good. Nothing special, just good. Three out of five stars. Thanks again to 22 Tiger Dude, and back to him. Thank you so much, Kevin, for reviewing VHS. Please check out Kevin's channel. He makes movie reviews, and he's a guy that truly loves movies. He actually wants to get into being a film director and writer. He's just a very nice guy. He's very descriptive. He's very honest. Link to Kevin's channel, CN IMAX, will be in the description box below. My thoughts on VHS? Yeah, it's not very good in my opinion. I was really not that impressed with VHS. Although, not the worst found footage film we've seen because, oh my god, I've seen so much more worse found footage films. Like, you have no idea. Oh, man. But no, VHS, it's not a terrible movie. It's just nothing special. The film is entertaining, but in terms of, like, the segments, they're not that great. The first segment of this film was shit. The only positive about that first segment was, of course, towards the end where things get disturbing. The other segments, they're just alright, and the very last segment of this movie, I really enjoyed. That is the best segment of this whole entire film, in my opinion. The very last segment. And I gotta say, it did save the movie a little. The thing that VHS majorly suffers from is that it drags a lot. It was very dull. I was so bored through... Every single segment, except for the last one, because when it starts out for each segment, so dull, a lot of unnecessary moments, and for each of the segments, they nothing disturbing or creepy happens until towards the end of every single segment. When it, the film gets disturbing in each segment, it creeps me out. It gave me that holy shit feeling. I did get holy shit feelings at the end of it, each segment. Whereas the last segment gave me a ton of holy shit moments. Because that's the one where it didn't really feel slow at all. That's the segment that, to me, felt like it just got to the point with the creepy and disturbing moments. And that last segment was a lot of fun. And that's the most surprising one to me. 
And the other segments, they have their moments, but it doesn't compare to the last thing, in my opinion. There are disturbing moments. There are bloody, brutal moments that I did enjoy that had me cringing a little in a pretty good way. I can't lie and say I did have some fun watching VHS. It's not a great film. It's not a good film, even. It's not a film I could really go back and watch again. You know, it's an alright film. I had a hard time deciding what I was going to get this film. I was going so back and forth as I was watching VHS. I was like, okay, am I going to go two out of four stars? Or am I going to go two and a half? Two? Two and a half. Two? Two and a half. But... I think I could go up to two and a half out of four stars. And I'm also going up that high. It's because of that last segment. The last segment definitely saved this film from getting that two star rating for me. Two and a half out of four stars. It's an entertaining and all right film overall. Just not a film I'm going to remember. And yeah, it's it just could have been a whole lot better. I am 22 Tiger Dude. And don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!